What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Let me know what you guys think of Mount lads. I'm going to be doing a quick breakdown slash review of him. A lot of people ask me about him. We will do a couple of more in these summer transfer uh, pack as well. We will do a few more training guides. But Mount is a very interesting player because you can train him as a CMF or an AMF. But the biggest thing about him, even though he's not the best attacking midfielder, the biggest thing going for him at the moment, I think, is the fact that he's a whole player. And he's also got some very unique variety of skills or a mixture of skills because he's got low lofted pass no look pass true passing and double touch the only thing that is really stopping this card from being able to compete with the epics and the legends even though he is a little bit lower on the stats is the fact that he does not have one touch pass because he does have double touch as you say right he has soul control um if you give him flip flap obviously that is for more of a dribble centric player and he does have every passing skill that you could want. But then he also has long range curler and heel trick. He has uh, gamesmanship. Pity he doesn't have unwavering form, but I, I wouldn't expect him to have that. Me as a United fan, I'm still torn on him. We'll see what the season holds for Mount. But listen, he's an extra squad member there. He's an extra body to have in off the bench or else to start. So I do think that he will be a, bo a boost for him, right? But when we are training him up, we're going to keep this short and sweet as we do. We are going to take a quick look over on eFootballDB and just show you a center midfielder build of him. Um, so this build here that you see is a very, very easy to build center midfielder. I definitely don't recommend him. I actually played a match last night, I think it was, and I came up against somebody that was using Mon Mount in center midfield. And I just went in and had a look at his stats. And he had a fairly similar build to this, where he had boosted up the defending to about 75 aggression. I just think that this is a complete waste on the card. I mean, I would not build a card like this. And, you know, I will have a new feature coming to the channel, which is going to be like um, reviews and stuff. I've already started to do it on my live stream. So keep an eye out for that. We'll do a few more today on the live stream as well. And we will be streaming Monday as well. But I do feel like that mount, you need to really, really hone in on his whole player playing style. Because as I said, he does have the double touch. He does have the no-look pass, and he does have the low-lofted pass. True passing is also huge, but you will notice a big difference between um, a player that doesn't have low-lofted pass. It's definitely one of the most underrated and slept-on player skills because you can hit certain shots with or certain passes with that that you just can't hit without it unless you've got like 90-plus in the low-pass range. So this is a bit of a bust, this center midfielder build. This attacking midfielder build is a beastly build, right? So you've got all the player skills, you've got 86 balance, you've got 84 acceleration, and then you've got offensive awareness, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, lofted pass, and curl, all going to be in the very high 80s or else one or two in the low 90s, um, including uh, ball control there and lofted pass is going to go tight possession and offensive awareness. They're all going to be around 89, 90, um, depending on how you train them up. But he's also got good stamina and speed, and with those player skills, I think it's a phenomenal whole player. Whole players are kind of difficult cards to source, I would say, um, because a lot of the players that are creative are going to be down as a creative playmaker, such as Nkunku. And then you've got deep line forwards that kind of do the job as well. But the whole player playing style with LBC, long ball quick counter or long ball counter, um, it's so dominant with the way the players run in just direct, direct lines. Now, as ever with this series, since I started doing these st style reviews, we do have a GP alternative as well. Now, they have added mount to the game. We will get into that as well. But if you're looking for something a little different, right, I can't recommend DePaul highly enough, lads. He is an absolute monster. He's got unwavering form. He's a whole player. He's super cheap. He's got really, really nice speed and acceleration for an attacking midfielder. A lot of people kind of ask me, why you know you do you need acceleration you don't really and i'm gonna i'm gonna make a video on that especially for different positions i mean you need acceleration on the wings if you are playing touch and goes just to be able to explode past for the first two or three dribbles then you will get caught by pepe tiago silva shalini mbappe it doesn't make a difference because that's just the way the gameplay is but the paul has got excellent player skills again we have that all important low lofted pass he also has fighting spirit he has true passing and weighted pass, long range drive, soul control and double touch. So very similar to Mount, very similar to Mount in the fact that they do play similar, right? A similar kind of build, um, similar everything really, 70 kg, 178, 180. Obviously, DePaul is going to be a little bit heavier to use because he's a little stronger, um, but not by much, you know, not by much. And I would say that DePaul is definitely a player that a lot of people are sleeping on as a whole player because a lot of people don't like using um standard whole players they like using you know the special ones right 
Um, so I definitely think that DePaul is worth a pop if you want to stay free to play and you don't want to spin for the summer transfers. But yeah, let me know what else you guys want and what other training guides you want. Up next, we will have the Abbey and we'll talk about the pace a little bit and we'll show you a couple of examples as well. So hope you enjoy these videos, lads. Talk to you in a bit.